Hey everyone and welcome back to another GT scale modeling video. Uh, first of all I just, uh, I just say I hope that everybody's doing well, hopefully everybody's well and healthy and that that continues to be the case for people. Um, obviously not great times we live in but such is, such is life and such is the way we just have to kind of get on with it as best we can I guess. Uh, personally, I'm still working, uh, but we I switched from doing I, I just normally work a nine to five Monday to Friday. Uh, I'm now doing three twelve hour shifts in a in a week, um, and our department of work has been split into two. We do alternate days, so in a bid to reduce the amount of people at work at any one time and various things. So the advantage of that means I get five days off in a row if you include the weekend this week. So. I'm um, still off tomorrow, back in on Tuesday, so. I thought I would just, uh, since I was out in the cave, I'd just do a, a quick update, as promised in the last video, uh, on where I am with the ATV and figures and things for my Afghan diorama, so I'll just keep this quick, it'll just be a quick chat through and show what I've been doing, keep you up to date. Uh, so, the... Figures are all built now from the Bronco set. Um, so we've got the quad bike driver, rider driver, and the kind of foot patrol guys. Um, the quad bike itself is now painted uh, just in a base color of sand and then black for the chassis bit here. So I'll tell you what, I'll just take that off and that should be good. Not very secure on this cocktail stick. So hopefully you can see this against the. Um, I think this was painted with Tamiya Buff. It, I don't know. I think British colours are a bit difficult sometimes. Um, it's definitely not the same colour as the Wimmick. I ended up mixing a paint for the Wimmick, and I can't remember what I did. So the quad bike's a newer piece of kit, though. Um, they were part of the urgent operational requirement uh, program in Afghan and Iraq as a way of um, getting some kit out to the, the, the troops kind of without the normal long procurement process. There's some other little bits on there, some armor cans, the radio box for the back and stuff. The figures are do, 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 have been base coated in Vallejo Camel Beige 023 or hemp as it's called. Um I found that a relatively good base colour for the MTP multi-terrain pattern that the British now wear. Um so the three figures here are the remainder remaining three from the master box set for the Wimmick. So we have this guy is the focus. Focus. This guy is the um gunner. So he will be oh no he's not sorry he's the guy that will stand in the passenger seat with his arm on the central um, spar of the roll cage. So the skin on this guy I think is more or less done. I've been doing it in a slightly different way. Usually I use the light colour set but I find they're a bit matte and I don't really, I've not really been getting on with them very well so I've been trying a couple of Vallejo paints I have instead. And uh, so far I'm getting slightly better results actually I think. Um, and then we've got these two who are the guys that come in the Mass box set who are also sort of on patrol. So this guy will have a L85 with the underslung grenade launcher. This guy will have a jimpy. Um, and they will then go on the diorama as ground figures alongside the Bronco figures here. Oops. Um, so yeah, they've all all figures that are still to be painted are base coated in the camo beige. Um, skin tones being done, as I said, these guys, a little bit more work on the skin and then they'll probably be done. Thankfully, there's not much skin on the Bronco figures because they've all, they're all wearing gloves and they have 
uh, radio mics over their left ears and their helmet straps are quite significant and I don't have to bother. I usually paint eyes, although I'm trying Chalky White's way of doing it, which is not to paint the eyes. And actually for these guys, it's extra kind of care because when you stick the helmets on, their, their eyes are all in shadow anyway. The Bronco figures all come with uh, sunglasses. <sighs> They're supposed to be paint the... Excuse me, the box wherever it's gone, has the figures uh, with clear glasses, like kind of clear safety glasses, but the parts are supplied as solid plastic, so there's no way you'll get them to look like clear, so actually I'll just end up painting them with sunglasses, I think. I might not put them on all figures, I'll put them on one or two maybe, and that way it'll cover the eyes up anyway, so. Um, thankfully not a huge amount of skin to be shown. Once that's done, then I can start on the MTP. Um... Yeah, as you saw, there's a couple of guys done already. Um, yeah. So that's where the figures are. Base coated. Skin tones being done, ready for the camouflage. What I also want to just quickly show you is the two buildings that uh, CW Modeling Chalky very kindly sent me. Um, and I will put these two. Excuse me, I'm a bit tired. That's really rude, isn't it? Um, so we have two, two building sections here that are made by Ian himself. So they're just made from this uh, black foam and uh, the brick pattern card in. But they're very, and then the kind of bits of rebar sticking at the top of the column, which is quite common seen. Uh, thing to see really really nice um so thank you again ian for sending these and these will definitely get a bit of these will definitely get included i may do some additions um i can't really think what but uh depending if they're fully suitable but i'm sure some in some way they will get used so yeah, that's about it really. I think just a quick update. I'll not keep anybody any longer. Uh, nothing's changed in the Wimmick. It's over there as it was last time you saw it. And I'll update again in a couple of days, maybe later this week. Uh, Till the end of the week once I get some more, something worth showing. Hopefully these guys here will maybe have some, uh, some actual camo on them and uh, be more to show you than just the skin tones. Okay, so thanks for watching. Stay safe, everyone, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.